Hello everyone, welcome to ALB, the place to create and I'm here with my chart of the day for Thursday the 16th of January 2020 and I chose the euro against the dollar for today. Uh, before I start with my chart of the day, I just want to let you know a week from now we'll be having our first ECB meeting uh, in Frankfurt uh, for 2020. So I'll be really looking forward to it next week. I think it will be quite an interesting one. Uh, so back to the chart. And this is on the daily time frame euro usd and the price points i'm at the moment looking at are 112 uh, handle here then 112.50 kind of round about here and the support at 111.75 so this area is very important and uh, you can see we have this uh, downward trend line uh, from from uh, the highs that we saw back in september of, of 2018 and uh, it has been very respectful uh, it been has been respectfully maintained if you see uh, the price was unable to break uh, in 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 mid of 2019 uh, then it again went to want to try in in, in late uh, september uh, last year but it fell uh, fell back again but finally uh, we saw this break of this uh, trend line and uh, uh, this if you have the short term uh, uptrend line uh, from the lows that we have seen in mid September of, of last year it gradually is picking up the pace and I am very kind of uh, uh, folk uh, move my bias a uh, bullish bias on uh, uh, on euro after uh, at least for the short term uh, for uh, for uh, for euro after this it broke this downward trend line and you can see it is uh, also respecting this 112 uh, sorry 111.75 uh, uh, support here and because it also coincides with this downward trend line that I have and also this upward trend line short term upward trend, trend line that you can see so uh, we did see some wicks but this is not major price move down and breaking below uh, so uh, i would be looking to go for a uh, long kind of here uh, with the stop just below uh, this area here uh, and my first target would be uh, this 1242 uh, test that we have seen uh, in end of december uh, last year and then uh, 114 because once it breaks we have this whole region free for the price to move up and uh, I will just zoom out to give a very wider picture. Uh, it, after 1.14.14, it's like f another open space for the euro to go above uh, and test this 1.18 handle. And test also this downward trend line that we have been seeing over a decade. It just, so it's, uh, it started from uh, just uh, end of 20, 2008, just after the financial crisis, and you have seen, you can see how the euro have been weakening after that over a decade. So uh, this would be uh, quite an interesting place if the market can break above this, because it has tried to break above back in in March uh, of of 2019 and again in July, uh, but fail to do it uh, let's see after six or seven months or so whether it can break uh, especially uh, some good news data is coming from uh, europe yesterday and if it can give us some more uh, good data of course we can uh, see the euro uh, break above this uh, so that would be my uh, chart of the day and uh, please bear in mind these are my personal views so please do carry on your own fundamental and technical analysis before you take a trade on any of the instruments that i suggest again thank you very much uh, for joining me all the best for the rest of the trading day and hope to see you soon bye bye